A man told police that he thought his girlfriend was, quote, being rough like Fifty Shades of Grey when she began to slap him recently, but he eventually fled the couple's apartment when the woman became more aggressive and left him, quote, seeing stars with a bump on his head, according to the arrest report. Nicole Onkyu and the 40-year-old victim returned to their Largo home after attending a festival. I guess like a music festival? Hmm. The pair argued when she was unable to locate her phone, though she would eventually find it. He was, uh, he said she was still upset. The victim attempted to sit at his desk and ignore the defendant, the officer noted. The Anastasia wannabe allegedly then began to slap the victim on the arms and back. The man told cops he, quote, initially believed the defendant was being rough like Fifty Shades of Grey style. Oh, my God. The book turned uh, movie about a sadomasochistic relationship. Uh-huh. Uh, when her blows became more aggressive, the victim said he told her to stop, but she continued to strike and scratch him hard enough to cause a sizable bump on his head and large scratches along his back. The uh, man, the man said that he told her uh, he was seeing stars in an attempt to get the defendant to stop the attack. Oh, nasty gosh. Nicole, na- Miss Nasty. If- Miss uh, Jackson, if you're nasty. Right. Nasty Nicole was arrested for domestic battery and booked in the county jail, apparently still wearing the festival face paint, according to her mugshot. <laughs> like Rihanna saying, sticks and stones may break my bones, but whips and chains oh, accept me. Oh, my goodness. A serial butt slapper in Texas has been caught. David Torres of Houston is accused of sneaking up behind women and either patting their rear end or trying to touch their buttocks before then sprinting away. <laughs> The Harris County Constable says this is not a laughing matter. He's been uh, cited for simple assault. One of the attacks was caught on security camera. A post to the neighborhood website next door was flooded with similar complaints of residents of the uh, Houston Heights neighborhood. You know, the girl from the first story ought to get together with this guy. They sound like a perfect match. Yeah, they say there's somebody for everyone. There's a there's a perfect match for you somewhere out there. She just needs to move they to just, Texas. Yeah, they just haven't met one another, apparently. <laughs> so let me say, let me guess, he got some cuffs slapped on him. Right? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I got. He would probably liked it a lot more than the first guy. <laughs> anyway, just saying. Those are your knuckleheads. You can find those stories and more wherever you get your social media. Just look for Mel and Scott in the morning.